Right, and so I'll show you with the same example. And so 4x squared minus 11x plus 6. And I'll kind of talk through the steps for this. Right, so if you have a trinomial with a leading coefficient, something other than 1, uh, this, and especially if the, the leading coefficient and the constant are uh, not prime numbers, I would use this method every time. I am going to be referring to uh, A, B, and C here. The standard form of a quadratic, uh, a quadratic function, A is the leading coefficient for the x squared, B is the leading coefficient for x, and C is the constant. Okay, so when I give you the rules here, those are the A, B, and C's that I'm referring to. All right, so if you want to factor by rewriting the middle term, what you can do is first find the product of your leading coefficient and your constant. Okay, so we're going to take a times c. Okay, so when we take a times c, 4 times a 6 gives us an overall product of 24. And okay, notice I write that number right below the middle term. Okay, then I can move to the, my second step. My second step, what we're going to do is we're going to find factors of the product from step 1 so that its sum is equal to the middle term's coefficient, b. Okay, so here we want to find what factors of this number 24, this product 24, is equal to this middle term's coefficient, negative 11. So what factors of 24 equal negative 11? Negative 8 and negative 3. Okay, so notice I rewrite those, again, directly below that original middle term. And what I can now do is I'm going to rewrite this middle term. using the factors from step 2 and then I'm going to factor by grouping okay, so notice what happens here so when I drop this down the x the negative 8 and the minus 3 I'm just breaking down this middle term into negative 8x minus 3x is there any difference between those two values no that's still equal to negative 11x I'm just going to drop my first and last terms down so now I have four terms, even though two of them are the same degree. And I'm going to factor by grouping. So what common factor can I remove from my first pair of terms? 4x, and that leaves me with x minus 2. From the second pair of terms, I can remove a common factor of, always take the sign out, so minus 3. That leaves an x minus 2. If I've done this right, I should have a common binomial factor, x minus 2. And then my remaining factors of 4x and negative 3 become the terms of my other binomial factor. Okay, so a question often comes up, what happens if you wrote negative 3 instead of, or in front and the negative 8 after? So if you'd have written this broken negative 11x down into negative 3ax, minus 8x. Again, if we drop the first and last terms down and factor by grouping, let's see what happens. What common factor could you remove? Okay, so what common factor can you remove from the first pair of terms? x, leaving a 4x minus 3. What common factor can you remove from the second pair? Negative 2, leaving a 4x minus 3. You still have your common binomial factor. Remove that. And the remaining factors of x and negative 2 simply become the terms of our other binomial factor. 